Now, I'm going to begin by asking, I mean, the film is sort of set in this surrealist world. I mean, though steeped in reality, it almost takes place in Florence's own fantasy land. Yeah. Did that give you quite a bit of license to steer away from being too naturalistic and be quite creative and quite kind of overstated in your approach? Um, no, I mean, I, I hope that it's all grounded in, mm. in reality. I, I think that it's a, a bit of a heightened world because these are extravagant people, uh, particularly. I mean, the world that my character walks into is that of these, you know, socialites and uh, estates and, you know, very aristocratic uh, society in New York, the arts world, patrons. of he, This is something that my guy from, you know, kind of fresh off, off the boat had never seen. So um, I think that what the heightened feeling is just, is, is the kind of the decadence of these and the eccentricities of these these people, but hopefully always from a true place. I think that's why people loved her, it was, it was true. Because you think it's fair to say, I mean, people were laughing at her, but it was never spiteful. It was almost, yeah. it was almost a kind of, we almost admired her courage in some ways. I, I, would you agree that sort of humanity actually comes out quite well in this picture? I would hope, yeah. I think that there's nothing more human than, uh, well, than failing passionately. Uh, and I think that, you know, aiming, aiming high, aiming for the stars, uh, and falling short is very charming and does and and is very a very joyful experience for both the audience and the person failing. I think if you kind of aim, you know, for mediocrity or something, you know, so it's fun to watch, watch this, and it's fun to sort of watch where ambition and ability butt heads, you know. Um, she, she dreams bigger than her, her talent will allow her. And McMoon is, when he first sort of enters into her life, he finds it quite funniest that he can't quite believe what he's seeing. Yeah. Um, was there ever a time when Meryl was singing where you, as an actor, couldn't resist laughing? Yeah, we <laughs> laughed a lot. I mean, uh, I think she laughed, she laughed a little more than I did, not because I didn't find it funny, but because I, I don't know, I felt compelled as the character to to be her sort of guide. That, that is kind of what he is to her. Like, he knows the music and he knows what it should be. And so, and in, in the real recordings, he really does, when she skips a beat, he picks right up, or if she forgets the note, he gives it to her kind of quietly. And, and that, that, so I felt sort of compelled to be like an anchor in some ways. Um, but we, there, I mean, there were some moments that we lost it completely uh, because we didn't know what we were, we didn't know if this was, it's so crazy to go out there and, and sing, you know, arias and, and these these pieces of music that, and to, to butcher them. And, you know, you feel kind of like you're, 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 you know, peeing on, on a gravestone or something. <laughs> Is that a good analogy? Probably not. <laughs> I was just interested in that Meryl <laughs> Streep is uh, unprofessional. Um, yeah, she can't yeah. hold it together. <laughs> um, since directing will never have Paris, do you find when you're acting now, you approach um, your roles in a different way? Are you kind of looking at them more from a director's point of view? Are you, how do you, have you found a difference? No, I, uh, no, I, I think I understand a little bit more about, uh, about what it is to, try to put together a, a cohesive story um, and maybe I understand more of you know what this shot it why we're telling you know you just want to know you just want to all be telling the same story I guess and and uh, and you know directing a, a movie I think is that's that is your job and that is a hard job and I you know so I uh, Stephen is a master uh, and really it was, it was watching him kind of conduct this this set was incredible, and um, and he was very collaborative. And sometimes it scared me because I thought, why, why do you trust me? But yeah, brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thank today. you. Much appreciated. Yeah. Nice to meet. You. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Huh? Hey, you guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey.